Welcome back to the Piney Woods Homestead. This is Matthew. Today I'm sporting some not so stylish armbands. Running that chainsaw yesterday flared up my tendonitis or tennis elbow, I think they call it. Had some shots in these elbows last year and that seemed to fix them up. Hurt like the dickens, but it's flaring them up again, so I gotta kinda take it easy. Today we're going to hook to the tiller and get down there to that garden spot and turn it into a food plot. A food plot that the deer are going to enjoy browsing in throughout this fall and on into some of the winter actually. It's also going to be a nice way for us to turn that under in the spring, let it die down, decompose, and give our soil an amendment for our garden. So guys, thanks for hanging out with me on the Piney Woods Homestead. Let's get to work. Y'all, let's turn some dirt up. To the house, Lisa said she got me a bag of food plot mix out of the freezer. We'll go up here and grab it. I'm ready to get this thing done. Y'all, this is a good time for me to be out here doing this because the farmer next door is out harvesting his soybeans. And I'm getting something in the ground that the deer are going to love when it starts coming up here in a few weeks once some soybeans have all been picked over. To give you an idea what's in this, it's got triticale, oats, winter peas, clover, chicory, turnip, 
and dacon radish. Those dacon radishes grow down pretty deep down in the ground, pull up good nutrients for next year's garden. So I like having that in there. And I also, I pull some of them up and give them to the pigs because they love them. Just getting out there, spinning, spinning this thing around and getting your seed out. Now, I, instead of hooking to my old box blade I got laid up in the woods, not box blade, box springs laying up in the woods to drag this thing over, I'm just going to track it in. And tracking it in is only going to be taking my gator, running back and forth with my tires, tracking it in, getting good seed to soil contact. And that's good enough. That'll get this thing on up here in a few days. Plenty of moisture in the ground. Once we get another rain, it'll really pop. I ain't even gonna put no fertilizer on it, y'all. There's uh, there's plenty out here in the ground already from leftover from gardening. There ain't no sense in putting no more. This is gonna come up just fine without it. Anybody want to see that a little bit closer that's seven card stud and I'm pretty sure that probably came from Walmart or something like that Lisa ordered it for me a while back and I've had it in the freezer for several months but it works real good guys I appreciate you hanging out with me on the Piney Woods homestead today as we got this spot tilled and got a food plot that's going to be established here pretty soon for the deer for the winter and give us something good to turn under in the spring for our new vegetables when we start planting those Guys, I'm gonna get back on tracking this in. Won't take me but a few minutes, and I'm gonna call it quits for today, and get up here and see what the missus is drumming up in the kitchen. I hope it's something pretty good. It usually is. Y'all have a great day, a great week, and I'll see you on the next video.